newly redesigned big 320 uh, Cherokee Vengeance fifth wheel just came in here at Halot Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this has been one of Forest River's uh, best selling toy haulers and they recently gave it just a, a full scale inside and out revision from the ground up and have really done a knockout job of it. I mean, not only does it have an excellent look, it's it's really the best application of a working man's toy hauler I've, I've ever seen. It's got all the real critical things you need, but it also has uh, enough of a nice uh, you know flare and flash to make you really proud of it. Um, they upgraded this year to a, uh, a drawbridge cable style patio party deck that you see here. They used to have some pedestal poles underneath that could wiggle loose and potentially uh, you know come out of place and cause your door to be tweaked or potentially slip out of place completely and fall. Um, now you see the cable system hook up there. A lot of people don't use toy haulers to haul toys. A lot of people use them like a bunkhouse or almost a, uh, you know, a private patio space. And this works really well for that because you can leave those cables hooked up and never have to worry about it. You will see several of these little black squares right here with these slots. This is a TV mount. Um, You'll see some inside, outside. It, it allows you some extreme flexibility in positioning a television wherever you would like it. Um, this is your primary entry door to the living area here. You walk right in and immediately you see the uh, electric space heating fireplace. If you don't want to burn your propane, if you are hooked up to park power, you can fire that up and keep warm in here without burning up all your gas. And you see the big Samsung brand television. Your big things uh, they spent real money on, which is nice. They didn't uh, get chintzy here and there. It's little touches in these that I really like. Your light switches, you notice, are backlit. So when you're walking through here at night, you can actually kind of see your switches and know where you're going. Um, immediately as you walk in, you are greeted by the walkthrough bathroom. And I really like the design. It's spacious. It's very functional. Um, you know, you've got a lot of extra counter space and plenty of room to actually stand here and get dressed a lot of a lot of bathrooms and rvs just really don't have anywhere that allow you to get prepared for things and that is not the case here now um i'm 6'3 uh maybe more with my shoes on and this is a full stand-up walk-in bedroom there's no step up or anything like that you notice the uh the cool blue indirect lighting back here you're going to see some of that accent lighting throughout that's something that uh Forest River down at the Cherokee plant has gotten really big into. And this is 50 amp service. We did add the second air conditioner. Something I recommend though is uh, this is kind of a generic video for this floor plan to really help you get a look and a feel for it. Um, the actual options list we might have on the one that you're looking at versus the one that I'm recording right now may not be the same. We are such a high volume dealership that we do turn quite a bit of inventory. Sometimes the, the replacement may not be exactly identical to what we're looking at. Um, again, more of that cool indirect lighting. Yeah, that's your central air system up there. Um, that, that light fixture up there reminds me a lot of like a, a Class A bus. You know, it just has that very residential, high-end uh, look and feel to it. Um, center Island Kitchen here is awesome because a lot of toy haulers traditionally do not have a lot of prep space. And this is genius. This is something I think almost taken out of living quarter horse trailers is this little glass top, uh, cooktop. When it's not being used for cooking, it adds so much extra um, countertop space. It's so handy. And this does have a bigger refrigerator and freezer so that you can keep a lot of things on hand and not spend as much time running to the grocery store. You'll find storage all over the place in here. And one of the things I love that they did in these is they uh, gave you these gigantic windows here in the slide out. You can see it's so bright it's actually playing with the brightness effect on my camera. Um, now another thing to mention too, they went with a, metal, or a wooden blind instead of like a plantation blind instead of a, a metal blind that gets busted up. Now what's neat about this is each section of this, all four sections, have its own little foot kick out. Um, so it's almost like having four recliners here in the sofa. It's very cool. Um, you'll also find a, a couple of these in the coach, these little charging centers. Everybody has smartphones and tablets and a million different things that need to be charged. And that can, uh, you know, you don't have to bring along a special charger. You can plug it right into your trailer and just keep going. This does have what's called a vapor wall or a private garage, whatever your preferred phrasing is, that leads us back here. And this is roughly a 12-foot garage, so pretty good sized. You see the recessed uh, floor-mounted D-rings, and those are rated for quite a bit of weight. You, you'll, uh, you can tie a lot of weight down to those. Now, we opted in the uh, electric rear bunk here. 
and uh, it's very simple and easy to use. They put the switch up here so that the kids can't get to it. It's just uh, battery op. It's 12 volt operated, so a simple battery can operate it. I'm not going to put it all the way up and down because obviously I have the uh, the seats folded in place here, but I want you guys sort of see it move. A lot of people don't understand how they work. When you take this and fold the seat down, you start to lift it up. When it gets to here, it'll lift up both the bunk and the bench below. Now something cool they're doing down there at the factory is underneath this top bunk is just pure storage. Now you get not one of these, but two, because there's a matching one that sticks out the other side. So you can use this, say, for uh, the, all the kids' clothing, you know, their jeans, socks, underwear, stuff like that. And you can use this side over here, out on your patio party deck, for additional storage space. They just latch shut. And simply pull out like any other drawer. So how cool is that? And, uh, you know, you can just sort of imagine the view out here on your patio. You can be up here, uh, kind of in it all, but away from it all, all at the same time. Give you a quick tour of our dealership here. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hale it Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan.